All right, Jenna, thank you very much. Well, it seems like we get more and more robocalls each and every day. They are all over the place, and many, if not most of them, are scams. And so we have Jim Terrell with us. Jim is a robocall data expert and the senior director of product marketing mm -hmm. for Transaction Network Services. So first, a good morning to you. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. And before we start talking about those robocalls, I do want to touch on some of the scams. You said there is a common scam that's going on right now in Philadelphia. Tell some of our viewers at home who are watching about that. Yeah, so there's a homeowner scam that's, that's, that's happening. person poses as Will, asking that they want to buy your house. Um, it's not legitimate, so, um, you know, again, be on the lookout with, you know, for anything that, that doesn't seem quite right. Um, and, and so, you know, that's, that's kind of the big issue. And when you're on the, on the lookout for that sort of, sort of scam that's kind of the hot one right now, what can we do to kind of protect ourselves from that and make sure that we first identify that it's a scam right away right. And maybe perhaps report it yeah so so what I would do is you know first uh, you know don't answer any uh, unknown calls that are coming into your phone so use your caller ID yeah use your caller ID absolutely um, you know secondly you know don't call back uh, you know unknown numbers um, because they're gonna then try to determine okay was was that a legitimate number that I called because they they try to just do you know dialing for dollars and try to um, you know, find out what numbers are real and, and, and not real or active and not active. Basically throwing a net out there. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's, it's really a numbers game where they're going to generate, you know, millions and millions of calls every single day. And I'm glad that you said numbers because we do have some very num some numbers for you right now. Um, in terms of Philadelphia negative robocalls, 23 million calls per month and 775 calls per day and nine calls per second. These numbers are very, very astonishing. I mean, why so many? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because why so many? Because there's so much money in, in, the, in the robocall space. Uh, you know, the FCC has said that, that it costs uh, $9.5 billion in fraud on an annual basis. So there's a lot of money into it. And, and unfortunately, it's pretty easy and pretty easy to, you know, scam people. Mm -hmm. um, bad actors w is what we call them. You know, they change their tactics continually. Um, but there's a, lot, there's a lot of money in it, and it's not very expensive. I mean, you can, you can get the technology to, you know, dial rapidly a lot of calls that's the key right at a here. time. And, you know, that's, that's a challenge. Unfortunately, um, you know, when people make good robocalls, the technology they use, the bad actors use that same technology right. to, you know, try to, you know. If there's uh, money to be made, there's going to be calls. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the three themes that we actually identified the most, or you identified for us, that uh, folks kind of uh, call folks, call people at home, and then pretend to be as police, Pico here in this area and political service is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So the so the first the first scheme is either police, veterans, or firefighters. Yeah, um, it's not it, they're not real organizations. So again, I would um, you know be cautious on on those types of calls. Uh, you know, again, call your local police and, mm -hmm. and fire fire department if you want to give. That's probably a better way to give. Um, you know, there's the nuisance PICO scam saying that you can save 15%. Right. Yep, we hear that uh, often. And then interestingly enough, the, the other one that we saw was there was a political survey asking opinions on the, uh, on the Mueller report. Now, while that's not going to deceive you and try to take money out of it, it is kind of more of a nuisance call, if you will. Um, so that's, that's, you know, again, you know, be on the lookout for those. The other, the other one that we've recently seen is, is a uh, Wangiri scheme where You'll, it'll ring your phone once and then hang up. Um, typically, it's from a, 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 a international number. Mm -hmm. And if you try calling that number back, uh, you'll incur long distance charges. Wow. So, be so on the lookout be on the for lookout. all of that. If you Jane, have any doubt, so good much. advice, just don't, just don't pick up and maybe call, do a little more research. So yeah, do a little bit more research, I would say. You know, you know download a carrier app. That's good That's advice. Um, Thank you, Jim, so much you for bet. coming in. Appreciate you have some great it. tips. All right, well, lots more ahead for you here on PHL 17.